Morning. Uh, apparently, it's uh, day two of the storytelling sessions as we're hunkered down here at the trailer. Hope everybody's being kind to each other out there. We all need it. But uh, I got to thinking this morning, and his mother will tell you, that's a dangerous thing for me to be doing. But anyway, I did, and uh, I got to thinking, since it's spring, it's almost that time to check our property and see if we've got any new boulders that have popped up during the winter. Because that frost always pushing boulders up. Those people that live in the warmer areas wouldn't know what I'm talking about, but it does. And what you don't want to do is run onto them boulders, them new ones, with your mower once you get the mow in the grass. So I always check my property, make sure there's no new boulders poking their ugly, rugged heads through the soil. Well, I got a call from Danny in Ellsworth, and Danny tells me that uh, he was checking his property, and uh, sure enough, he come across a sinkhole. And not just any sinkhole, it was a deep sinkhole, so deep he couldn't see the bottom. Of course, he wanted to know how deep it was, how dangerous it was, so he looked around and because, you know, Maine boys are always thinking. If you don't have something to measure with and you want to know how deep some hole is, what's your option? Find something heavy. Drop it down the hole, see how long it takes at the bottom. No big deal. So then he looked around, found himself an old transmission laying right there in the field, all rusted out. He muckled on what he's a rugged fella, dug it across the field, pushed it into that hole, stood there waiting for it to hit the bottom. Well, just as he pushed it in, he couldn't believe it. A goat went along and jumped down the hole to him. Yeah, and right behind that goat was one of his buddies, Edgar. Edgar come racing across the field and said, Hey, Danny, you see my goat? Danny said, Geez, I, I think your goat just jumped down this hole. Edgar said, Oh, that couldn't have been my goat. My goat was tied to a transmission over in the corner of the field. <laughs> well, the SPCA is looking for Danny to have a chat. Have a great day. That's it from here. Bye.